In this series on how I write, format, and self-publish my Kindle eBooks, in step number six of this process, here's how to insert bookmark links inside your Kindle eBooks so readers can click and jump to any section or chapter within your eBook with convenience and ease. Now, why are bookmark links important to have inside your eBook? Well, bookmark links help your readers jump to specific chapters or parts within your book quickly. Bookmark links save readers time scrolling through pages and pages and pages just to find where they left off or where they want to start reading. Bookmark links also help readers consume your ebook faster because they can navigate your ebook more efficiently. Now, even Kindle recommends your ebooks include a clickable table of contents with bookmark links to help readers navigate chapters on Kindle apps and devices. So, now that you know how important it is to have bookmark links within your ebook, how do you insert bookmark links into your ebook? Well, let me tell you about that right now. Simply, just do these three steps. Number one, insert your bookmark where you want the reader to jump to when they click on a bookmark link. Number two, link to that specific bookmark from within your ebook. And number three, test the bookmark link to make sure it works. Then, rinse and repeat these steps for any and all bookmark links that you want to put in your ebook, and then you're done. Great. Now, let me show you exactly how to insert a bookmark link in your ebook. So, here we are inside an ebook that let's say you wrote. And basically, you're looking at a template, but the gist is still here. Check it out ebook title, subtitle, your name, copyright notice page, all that pertinent information, acknowledgements, dedication, table of contents. Message from the author, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Summary and encouraging words, back pages. These are sections within your ebook that we need to link to within the ebook. Here's the message from the author page. And I'm just going to go through this whole ebook globally so you can just see what it is. Here's chapter 1 and the text, chapter 2 and the text, chapter 3 is kind of short, chapter 4 is two pages, chapter five, two pages, chapter six, chapter seven, chapter eight, chapter nine and ten, and then summary and encouraging words, and then back page content. Now, you can imagine this is what the average ebook looks like, you know, chapters and sections. Well, we need to link these chapter titles inside the table of contents to specific pages within the ebook. Come on, let me show you how that's done right now. So, remember, step one, insert the bookmark where you want it to go. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down this list right here, methodically and in sequence, okay? So we don't miss a beat. Now, I'm gonna put the cursor right here, to the left of wherever I want the bookmark to land. So in this case, to the left of message from the author. I'm gonna then go to insert, bookmark right here insert bookmark and I'm gonna give this bookmark a name let's call this message from the oh, 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 oh what what happened where did my add button go maybe it doesn't like spaces okay message from uh, oh it's gone too Okay, maybe it doesn't like hyphens. Message underscore underline from the author. Okay, I guess it just likes underscores, underlines. Okay, have it your way. So yes, message from the author is this bookmark right here, bookmark name, add. Now let's go over to message from the author. Insert hyperlink. And when you do that, we want to link somewhere within this document, a place inside this document. Well, look at this message from the author. Great. Let's select it and click OK. Now, let me show you how this really works. So we're going to test this by clicking control and click with the mouse. And I'm going to click and I'm going to go there right now. Ready? Are you ready? Look how fast we went there. They didn't have to scroll through the table of contents to get to this section. Nope, this bookmark link 
linked them right to where they had to go. Excellent. Okay, now let's go through and place bookmarks where they go. So again, right here to the left side of whatever it is that we want to bookmark and link to. So right here. So insert, bookmark. Now, what are we going to call this? I have a tip for you. Anytime I have chapters, I do CH01. I do that because the 01, 02, 03, 04, it's going to be an order from 1 through chapter 12, 15, 16, 17. I don't know how many chapters you have. But when you see this develop, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But I just do CH01. Now you could do CH01. That's fine too. How much work do you want to do? So let's go ahead and do the CH underscore 01. Good. Let's just keep doing this, okay? I'm going to do it for these two chapters right here just to show you what I'm talking about. Insert bookmark. CH02. Add. Okay, great. Now let's go up here and let's highlight chapter one title and insert hyperlink. Place in this document and look at this. They're already starting to list chapter one, chapter two. We're going to want chapter one. Click OK. And let's just go ahead and do chapter two while we're at it. Control K. Place in this document chapter two. OK. And let's test our work. Click. Control click. Bing bada boom. It worked. And they don't have to scroll through all this, you know, text and documentation. Let's click this one now and test it. It worked. So you can tell that the bookmark links help the reader navigate your ebook quickly. Because let's say tonight they're going to read two chapters. Tomorrow, you know, all they have to do is click on the next chapter that they're on and they're back in the game reading your ebook. Okay, great. So let's go and insert some more bookmarks, but this time we're just going to go through and do them all. So let's go to chapter three now. Chapter three. Insert bookmark. CH underline 03. Add. Chapter four. Insert bookmark. Four. I'm just changing it now, just the number. Add. Right here for five. Insert bookmark. Chapter five. Chapter six. Insert bookmark. Add. Put your cursor where it belongs to the left. Insert bookmark. Seven. You can imagine this process really does not take that long. Insert bookmark. Eight. Chapter nine. Insert bookmark. Nine. And ten. Now, summary and encouraging words. Now, just real quick, let's look at these chapters. Do you see how nicely they are in order? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Now, this new bookmark name, we'll just call it Summary. You don't have to type the whole title. I usually sometimes do, but sometimes I just put a keyword there, Summary. I know what that is. Add. And down here, we might put Back Pages with the underline. Okay, good. Great. Let's go to the table of contents and let us now insert the bookmark link. Highlight. Hyperlink. Chapter 3. OK. Hyperlink. Chapter 4. OK. Hyperlink. Chapter 5. Chapter 6. Hyperlink. 
Chapter 7. Chapter 8. Chapter 9. We're almost done. Chapter 10. And summary and encouraging words. There it is. And some of these will kind of get out of order alphabetically. You know, summary, message, back pages. It's okay. Back pages. Hyperlink. Back pages. And we're done. Save your work. We are done inserting bookmark links throughout this ebook. Let's test our work. Let's just go to back pages. And you can test any page you want. Any section. Now you really should test them all. You know, don't like, oh, I tested a few, they're okay. No, sometimes the one that you don't check is the one that's incorrect and doesn't work. But so far, so good. Ah, oh, you gotta love it. All right, well, we will assume that they are all done correctly. And I'm gonna zoom out, take a look. You know, what we did was we took the table of contents and for every chapter, every title, every section, we inserted a bookmark link to that part of the ebook. Awesome. Now let's upload this manuscript into KDP and I'll show you how it works. In other words, we're going to test the links inside the ebook previewer right now. So after you upload your manuscript, and this is the manuscript we were working on, it may give you this message, missing table of contents. We recommend ebooks include a table of contents to help readers navigate chapters and Kindle apps. Well, there is one included. So why do you see this message from time to time? I don't know. So we uploaded the cover and let's launch the previewer so that we can test our bookmark links and see if they actually work. Here's the cover. And a lot of this looks familiar to you. And we're going to click on any one of these links. And here's the last part of the table of contents. So we'll go ahead and click on message from the author. And there it is. <laughs> so nice that the reader can click on any part of your ebook and jump right to that section or chapter. Very nice. Chapter three, chapter three. These work. You have successfully inserted bookmark links into your ebook that link to specific sections within your ebook so that the reader can navigate your ebook quickly efficiently and just kind of jump to the sections they're interested in reading or where they left off. Hey, I hope this was helpful in learning how to insert bookmark links specifically in the table of contents of your ebook in Microsoft Word if that's where you wrote your ebook. All right, let's continue to the next video in this series. Come on, you're doing great.